And I'm very excited about the uh, new news about the presidential race. Joe Biden, as you know, saved my life where Trump made me go blind because he made it impossible for people to get Obamacare on unemployment. Just enough extra money to when you don't qualify. But Joe restored our health care from the college I worked at and everybody's health care. If you had health care when you got laid off, it would be restored until May of that year. I found out kind of late, but I got in there. And then I got put on Obamacare, and uh, I had a stroke. And so I'm here today to tell you about it. So I'm very, very grateful to the Democratic Party. They have taken care of me with medicines, with food. And the ER doctors that saved my life put me on a new path that I'm quite happy with. And I'm very happy to announce that Kamala Harris will be the next president of the United States. There are rumors that she will tap Michelle Obama. I don't know if she'll go for it, but wouldn't that be a great power trio? Michelle Obama is vice president, and every woman in the world that I know loves Michelle Obama. And if that happens, Barack will come, and uh, it'll be like the power trio in Washington, D.C. For once, it would be nice not to have old, white women hating men. And Trump embodies that, and his followers are exactly that. I've been reading the comments on the posts about Kamala Harris being the candidate and people men say hey buddy you lost your place a while ago pretending you were the hare and the tortoise in the hare race women are the backbone of this nation they are the workforce the people that get things done Men just donate sperm and then decide it's too much work. And she's not paying enough attention to me. And they split to leave the woman with wrecked dreams to work her ass off like my mother did. My dad bullied his way getting out of a $50 a month child support thing. But uh, that's just one case. This happens all the time. And they outlawed abortion because they're afraid that the non-white people are going to be even in numbers with the white people. And they're scared as hell of that in some states. White people are the ones that have the abortions. A non-white family always absorbs the child and raises it where white people can't be bothered to even take care of their own. And this stuff about illegal immigrants are bringing bad things into this country, they just want to work. And for the most part, American men don't want to work. They want a life of leisure and have the women bring home the paycheck. And this new plan with Trump wants to put women, it says women will be considered secondary citizens only above non-whites. I don't know what that means. I think it means they want them to be barefoot, pregnant, and in the kitchen, and not the head of corporations. Well, I can tell you this. Kamala was a prosecutor in San Francisco. She took on some pretty hard-hitting opponents and won. Donald Trump will be like a scooby snack to her if they debate. 
The only thing Trump, the only thing Trump has in his arsenal is trash talking the opponent. And it reminds me, and I'm sure it reminds every woman out there of the new boyfriend who steps in when a woman gets divorced and trash talks the ex-husband. That's his only defense. It's not saying how what he does. He just trash talks the other people. He was, uh, Trump once said on a talk show, you know, Trump used to fund the Democrats. He, tr he donated a lot of money to Bill Clinton's two campaigns and to Hillary Clinton's first campaign. He said, I think it was on Letterman, that the, the host asked him if he was going to run for president ever. And he said, if I do, I would run as a Republican because those people will believe anything you tell them if you say it enough times. He doesn't have any respect for the Republicans. He just thinks they are uh, easily talked into things where Democrats may question a lot of things. But I'm glad to uh, have Kamala on the uh, ballot. And uh, please join with me and vote her into office as the first non-white woman president of the United States. She can really make a difference. Thank you. That's all I've got to say about that. 